MTN's Zach Shermley was in Browning today, just two days before the shutdown is set to begin. We're building the plane as it's flying. Over the last two weeks, there's been a spike in coronavirus cases on the Blackfeet Reservation. There are 90 active cases on the reservation with hundreds of people in quarantine. We don't know what to expect from day to day. The Blackfeet Tribal Council approved the 14-day shutdown on Thursday at the request of public health officials. Blackfeet Tribal Council members are still deliberating about what the measure is going to look like. And the term shutdown can be taken many different ways and that's what we're trying to clarify is, is it shutdown or lockdown? And we should have some answers for the community and the public here within the next day or two. Non-essential outings will be discouraged and people are getting ready. Getting prepared for the shutdown that's supposed to happen on Sunday. I'm here at Glacier Family Foods where people are stocking up on perishable items, things like meat and ham. This has been a challenge. Um, we have started taking precautions right from the very beginning. Although the details are still being hashed out by tribal officials, people will be allowed outside of their homes for essential outings, and violation enforcement will be handled on a case-by-case -case basis. But McNeely says it's all about the end goal. But that 14-day time frame should curb things, and that's the goal of this. It's a little stressful, but we're here for our people. In Browning, Zach Shermley, MTN News. The Browning Public Schools Board of Trustees announced today that they will continue with distance learning during the shutdown. They'll be delivering meals to students once a week.